Hey guys, it's Keely here at Sherwood Park Hyundai, and today we're going to be taking a walk around this 2016 Kia Sorento. This four-door SUV is shown in a titanium silver metallic, and underneath that hood you do have a 2.0 liter four-cylinder engine. Now on the front of the vehicle here you do have those daytime running lights with the projection style bulbs, as well as those fog lamps there along the bottom. The vehicle is car proof clean and is still looking spectacular. But coming on down here, I want to show you your tires. So you will be riding on top of 17 inch Kumo winter tires. You do have the rock guard and mud flaps underneath there helping keep everything nice and clean as well as all the way along the side of the vehicle. So coming on up to your side view mirrors here, you do have that side indicator as well as they are the breakaway mirrors, which is a really nice feature. So guys, now that we've checked out, sorry about that glare, that is terrible. But now that we've checked out the inside of the, or the outside of the vehicle, let's go check out the inside. The glare is messing me up. Helping you into your Kia Sorento is this awesome keyless entry key. It is a little banged up, I do apologize, but it still works perfect. So we are going to press the unlock button once to unlock that driver's door and twice to unlock all those doors. So now coming on in here, on the left hand side you do have some power options including windows, locks and mirrors, and then on the bottom you have a bit of room for storage. You do have very comfy cloth seating for five. I really like the design and the white stitching that they put in it, it does make the grey seats pop out a bit more. And then on the bottom here you do have some power options including that back lumbar support. So let's hop in and start her up. Bear with me for a second guys, I'm just going to take my glove off and get a little situated. Sorry I had my mouth full, but I don't know if you guys noticed that. They actually welcome you into the vehicle, which is a nice feature. So this vehicle is in fact a push start, so I'm going to put my foot there on the brake and we're going to push that button. You do have those ABS brakes, traction control and tire pressure monitoring as well as only 49,764 kilometers. Oh, that volume is loud. So now coming on out here, on the left hand side, you do have your voice control, audio uh, control, as well as that Bluetooth buttons. So I am gonna show you that the Bluetooth, or the Bluetooth, the voice command does actually work here. So we'll come over here. Please say a command after the beep. Cancel. Haha, -ha, sweet. And then here on the right hand side of your steering wheel, you do have a couple more options. Now this is your cruise control here, sorry about that sun guys. And then you do have a more hands on type of feeling here, so I am going to show you up here what these take you through. So I don't know if you can see that sun is horrible, there we go. So you do have a couple different user settings, and then coming through you do have your digital speedometer a couple different trips and then your range till empty and average fuel consumption and then hit it once more and that is actually going to give you a little preview of what you're listening to so i'm going to take you on over and show you the stereo system here coming on into your stereo system you do have that xm preview all you got to do is call up them good folks and they will set it up for you hassle free as well as that AM and FM option, but what I really like is this jukebox button here. If you were to have a CD or, you know, um, a USB port, you plug it in and you can copy the songs off of that to your jukebox, so if you ever forget that CD at home, you have your favorite songs in the vehicle at all times with you. And then just below that, you do have your climate controls, but my favorite spot about here is you do have heated seats such a great feature the winter is pretty well here so this is just absolutely awesome I love it to be honest heated seats are my favorite coming on in down here you do have a bit more storage as well as your auxiliary and USB cords and then your two 12 volt outputs coming on in down here you have your gear shifter your cup holders and then you do have a couple buttons here this is your all-wheel drive lock this is uh, your park assist. You know, when you're parking, there's these little things on the back that's gonna beep at you if you get close to something. So then coming on into here, you do have a little bit more storage in there as well as 
In here is your glove box. It's kind of an out of sight, out of mind hiding. It is two levels, which is nice. Maybe you have smokes, wallet, anything like that. You can hide up here so you don't lose it. And then the more larger items, you can hide it down here. And what's really nice is you have another USB cord right in there. And I like that they illuminate it up for you so you will always see where you gotta go. So I'll put this back, we'll close this up, and I wanna show you your glove box because how many vehicles come with lockable glove box? Not too many, it is getting a bit more popular, but this is really nice because if you're going down on White Ave and you have some valuables with your friends, you can throw it in there, lock it up, and don't need to worry about your car being broken into. You also have a light in there, which is nice for the nighttime, and then you do have that owner's manual. Again, I really like the design, like the little diamonds that they have put in here with the white stitching. It's really cool to me. It really brings out the gray. They are very comfy. They feel nice, actually. I'm kind of falling asleep sitting in them. <laughs> and then coming up here, you do have your sunglasses holder as well as your lights. And then your rear view mirror does tell you which direction you are going. So guys, now that we have checked out the inside of your Kia Sorento, how about we go check out the back and the cargo area? Coming into the back of your Kia Sorento, you can see me here on the door. <laughs> no, just kidding. But you do actually have some more storage here along the side door here, as well as on the back of both of these seats. What's really nice about the back of these seats is it is the hard plastic cover. So if you have any dirty dog paws or maybe little kids feet kicking up against that, it's going to be really easy for you to wipe down and keep clean. As well as you do have these mesh holders back here, which is really nice because they do stretch out nice and wide. And, you know, who will ever lose something in mesh holders? <laughs> Coming on in here, you do have, which is really nice because maybe you're in the front and you have your GPS and phone plugged in. And kids are whining in the back, their iPad's dying. You have a USB plug-in and a 12-volt output. So two people can be charging a device at the same time back here without interfering with you guys up front. The seats here are equipped with all the child locks and safety anchors you are gonna need. They are also a 60-40, whoa, that was intense. A 60-40 bench split seat or a 60-20-20. So I'm gonna show you that in just a moment. I do wanna show you that if you pull on this little tab here, ooh, pull on this little tab here, you, your back passengers do have an armrest with the two cup holders. You know, maybe three if you fit a little baby bottle in there. But I am gonna shut this and I'm gonna show you that if you pull this, I detached it already by pulling this little handle up. Slap that down and then you do have a 60-20-20 split. But if I drop it down low and I pull this little handle up, this seat here is gonna fly on down. Usually they'd fly down together because they'd be attached, like right there, and then you'd have a 60-40 split, but this is your 60-40 split right there, which is really nice because then you have all that extra room into the cargo space. Coming on into the back here, you do have that rear wiper blade as well as, I am so forgetful, you do have that rear view camera there, which is really nice if you're teaching your little kids how to drive. They will have that extra sense of confidence backing up. I know I hate backing up. Lift it up. We have so much space back here. It's a really big cargo area. I love it. On the right hand side there, you do have your little um, storage. Oh, I made it too dark. Storage area. And then you do have a 12 volt output back here as well for if you're camping, you need to blow up an air mattress, you can sit on the back and watch it blow up hassle free. Shut that there. Coming underneath here, you do have some storage options down here, which is really nice. And then closing this up, and I open this. Woo, that was a little tough, sorry. You do have some more organized storage, which I absolutely love. You can hide anything down here, booster pack, tishing, or tishing, tackle box, your fishing gear, stuff like that. Close it up, and then you have all this room up here as well. So it really is just a great storage area. I really do like the Kia Sorento. I was going to say Kia Santa Fe, and those are two different brands. That's not right. <laughs> My bad, guys. It's still early in the morning. So this is the 2016 Kia Sorento in a titanium silver metallic. We are located at 41 Auto Mall Road. I want to thank you guys for watching my video, and we are just a click or call away for a test drive.